Dear General Diploma students, this is Dr. Marwan Aim and you are watching my channel. This is the third lecture in our course TOEFL 1. In the last two lectures we have shed light on lesson planning. We have uh, studied an introduction about lesson planning, its definition, its importance uh, for prospective teachers. And in the second lecture we have shed light on objectives uh, from a theoretical perspective. Today we are going to take a practical lecture about how to write a behavioral objective. This will be done according to certain steps, just like a mathematical formula. Before starting uh, analyzing behavioral objectives, let's first know what are the main components of a behavioral objective. Any behavioral objective has five main components. These components are a common phrase that's written in all behavioral objectives. Uh, this phrase says, at the end of the lesson, students should be able to. And here we have some remarks. The word lesson is uh, written between practice because you can replace it with unit or course, uh, whatever uh, the content you are setting an objective for. Uh, also, we use uh, should instead of must because we are talking about a desired uh, outcome. The second uh, component of a behavioral objective is what is called a behavioral verb. And a behavioral verb is devi defined as a verb that can be measured. Simply, this means that the verb can be used to ask a question. So, if you have any verb that can ask a question, that can be used uh, as a question, so it's a behavioral verb. That's why words like, or verbs like write, pronounce, uh, speak, or uh, listen, and uh, fill in the spaces for an instance, these are all behavioral verbs because you can ask a question using these verbs. On the other hand, some verbs are not behavioral, like know and learn. You cannot ask a question using know something or learn something. So please pay attention to uh, the conditions of a behavioral verb. Then we have the third component, which is academic content, and uh, this is the specialized subject matter to be taught. Then the fourth component is the criterion of performance. A criterion of performance is the minimum required performance to achieve the objective successfully. And usually the criterion of performance is a verb. Then the last component is the condition of performance. It's any condition according to which the objective is achieved. So these are the five main components of a behavioral objective. Uh, some educators claim that we can write an ideal objective using the first three components and uh, leaving uh, criterion and condition of performances. But if you want to write a perfect uh, behavioral objective, you have to include these five components. And now let's take some examples and analyze them in order to uh, get uh, the idea. The first example we have, this is an ideal objective, behavioral objective. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to pronounce a given list of words accurately without the teacher's help. Take uh, a breath in order to write down this objective before we analyze it. Alright, let's analyze this objective. 
The common phrase at the end of the lesson, students should be able to. Then the second component, the behavioral verb. Uh, the behavioral verb naturally comes after two, it's pronouns. Is that behavioral? Yes, because I can ask a question. I can ask a student to pronounce some word. So this is a behavioral verb. Then we have the content to be taught, which is a given list of words. Then the criterion of performance, the word accurately. We said that the criterion uh, usually is usually an adverb. Then we have the condition of performance without the teacher's help. Let's take another example. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to translate two paragraphs on literary topics with the help of the printed dictionary only. Well, let's start analyzing. Again, the common phrase at the end of the lesson, students should be able to. Then we have the behavioral verb, translate. Let's test it. Can I ask a question using translate? Yes, translate the following paragraph, translate these words, whatever. Then we have the content to be taught paragraphs on literary topics. These, uh, this is uh, the academic content uh, of the objective. The criterion here is two paragraphs. It's not an adverb. Why? Because this is the minimum required level of performance according to which the objective is achieved. In other words, if some student translated one paragraph this means that he did not meet the objective because i i have identified a minimum required level so i said two paragraphs not less than two paragraphs this is the criterion of performance and we have the condition of course with the help of the printed dictionary only is it a condition yes because i have set some condition using the printed dictionary only this means that he cannot resort to Google's Google Translate for instance if a student uh, uses Google Translate the objective will not be achieved the last uh, example we have at the end of the lesson, students should be able to write a four-paragraph essay on traveling abroad after exchanging ideas for 10 minutes. Well, the analysis. The common phrase at the end of the lesson, students should be able to. And we have a behavioral verb here, write. And we can form a question using right. So it's a truly behavioral verb. The content here is an essay on traveling approach. Well, the criterion of performance is a four paragraph essay. This essay should not be less than four paragraphs. This means that um, the quantity of uh, writing is important in this objective because if a student wrote for instance a single paragraph two paragraphs three paragraphs this means that my objective is not achieved he or she must at least write four paragraphs in the essay and then the condition of performance after exchanging ideas for 10 minutes uh, so, before writing, a student should exchange ideas with the teacher, with peer students, and start writing the essay. That's the whole story. I wish you have now a good idea about how to write a behavioral objective.